Hello everyone, my name is Nadia Lee Owens and this is Buy Black and Bookish, a booktube channel where Buy Black Girl is that just so happens to be a gamer girl, if you can't tell by my kitty cracking headset. Um, I believe I mentioned this in like the first video I've ever posted on here, but I do consider like video games legitimate forms of storytelling that I wish can be explored a bit more and discussed a little bit more in the in the booktube community. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, today I'll be playing a visual novel called Missed Messages and let we'll be less talking about kind of like the game mechanics and more about how it handles the storytelling mechanics which should be easy because this is a visual novel it ain't gonna have much game mechanics um but yeah this is just a new series i thought of called stories from steam and this is my first one so if you like it or if you want to see more if you have suggestions for like other like visual novels or games that have interesting storytelling mechanics um let me know in the comments below uh, i guess with that being said let's get into it So this is Missed Messages, a visual novel on Steam. I think it's like really cheap or free. I can't remember. But I've had this in my library for quite some time and I've been meaning to play it, but I just haven't had the chance to. And I thought this would be a great opportunity and also hopefully very fast because I'm in the middle of getting re ready for Megacon. Um, I will, of course, be cosplaying and I'll be posting pictures afterwards. Um... And, but I also will probably be missing my uh, March wrap up, which I usually do the last Sunday of March. Um, and I'll probably be doing that next Sunday. So, well, anyway, let's get into it. About, what's about? Oh, it's just the credits. I, I know some Unity. I'm, I'm kind of adept at Unity, ain't gonna lie. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. Uh, I need to work, work stuff. AX plus BY plus C, Z equals D. What even is a four dimensional shape? Well, four dimensional shape, I actually don't know. I am bad at, I'm not bad at geometry. I was pretty good at geometry, but I was more, I was more of like a, a calculus gal. That's where I thrived. But I'm so bored. I can't focus. A uh, goth's GF's phone wants to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept it? Nah, we're going to go back to work. I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Are, but this is your work, isn't it? Or is this like homework? Maybe it's homework. Where is Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? What even? 3.6 counts where lines are divisions and the graph unit vector means magnitude is one. Okay. That means nothing to me. I guess it has been a while since I've been in school. Um, let's take a break. inner door the door of my roommate may getting closer I hear voices although my Chinese was bad I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one when, when is a mom not just constantly pissed off at you that seems like a normal mother-daughter relationship to me Hi, Lindy. Wei Shin Mibu. I, I probably pronounced that so incredibly bad. <laughs> okay. Too lazy. Why don't you? Her mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation, then continued. 
I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. Not me, though. I love getting into other people's business. Books. What kind of books? So many books. There are literally pockets of Viet Cong in the back of my shelf that don't know the war is over. Damn, that's wild. Bacteria flavor. I make a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. A or orthogonal theorem V times W equals O. Orthogonal, ortho, orthogonal, but unit. Again, means nothing to me. Damn. All right. Break. You deserve a break. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What does this say? Outer door. The door to the outside world. I'll go back. No. Make some tea. Tea is the best drink. This is true. I love me some tea. Plants. Plants in rooms have proven health benefits. They raise the air humidity, reduce toxic elements, and can improve productivity and concentration. No, I am not making excuses for my plant collecting habits. That seems to be a really millennial habit, but I don't know. That's just a millennial habit I don't have, apparently. Let's click on the flags again. I brought a girl over one time and she saw these and said, you're an LGBT supporter? No, bitch, I'm all for. No, I'm gay for you, damn it. Oof, papers. I forgot the name. Oh, there it is. <laughs> My precious Madoka Magica poster, which really is just out of print. God, they're cute. I do think they're kind of cute. And some notes from my friend and roommate, May, who is both distant and a total sweetheart. I think that describes me, honestly. A distant sweetheart. Let's look in the mirror. I'm serving looks today. The I just woke up look. The I just woke up look for me is like my pajama shorts and then my dramatical murder shirt that my friends gave me like the first year we've ever like the first we were friends and it was just really cool they all pitched in and got me that shirt it was like our freshman year of college that's one of my favorite shirts even though my sister told me I can't wear it in public anymore um I guess Maybe you need to go back to work, Bestie. I tend to focus back on my work and succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus again. Oh, I guess I'll accept. Cute. That's funny. I'll send a meme back. Ah, it's a ice bear from We Bear Bears. I think that show's really cute. And the theme song is uh, sung by Estelle. Okay, work stuff. Oof, no. Except, you're welcome, heart. So, Pastel Princess's MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Ugh. Working, but can't focus. I really like this meme. There's one that's like Fallout, uh, not Fallout Boy, but just a Fallout um, video game. Where it's like, I ain't like that no more. That's my favorite one. I think that's cute. Except. Ah, uh, no, I feel that I hope I'm not distracting you. I also can't focus. I'm procrastinating with makeup right now. I don't really put on makeup just for the heck of it. I mean, because I feel like if I have to wear makeup, I need to be going out somewhere. But let's see it. Thank you, you're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. She's cute. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. You're the cutest. Oh, a Tumblr meme. When was this made? <laughs> I want you wrapped in my arms like a riddle. 
burrito. You my burrito. OMG, no, you, you're so cute. Go out with me. <sighs> you gotta work a little harder than that to go out with me, for sure. Yes, want to meet me later tonight outside my room, 206. Yes, I'll see you. Another word, Bear Bears. I think it's a really cute show. I kind of want to rewatch it now. Later that night, I went out to meet Goff G up. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. She's the roommate. Oh, she's cute. You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. Oh. Uh, why? What's up? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. Thank you. You remember? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday She sang for me sweetly. I, I, even though it's kind of awkward. So, spontaneous singing is kind of awkward, despite the fact that I really love musicals. And I also spontaneously sing. But then again, I do find myself very awkward. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. What? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought, life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend, too. Aw. Ha 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 I'll see you later. Goodbye. I meet up with Goth Tia. She told me her name, Amy. That's just a rearranged uh, version of May. We walked to the roof, laid out a blanket, and watched the stars. The sky's gorgeous tonight. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing. For once, only a feeling. Damn. Nothing? You know when your mind is constantly noisy? I look at the sky and I realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it and my mind quiets. That's so po poetic. Mm -mm -mm. Let's talk about the arts. So, you're into makeup? Hell yeah, I am. God, can you imagine being so powerful you can transform into different people? Because I can. God is a woman. Amen. That she is. Guess we should just let time pass. As the dark, as the sky darkened, I grew addicted to Amy's smile. It's getting late. We should head back. Aw. You're cute. Goodbye, kiss. It's just a goodbye kiss. I thought she already knew her, but it turns out they were just airdropping. And that's how they are meeting. So it's kind of like an airdrop meet cute kind of scenario. Um, but sure. I love I love giving kisses. Mwah. You're the cutest. No, you. Ha ha ha. I'll see you later. See you. I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. You're a great friend. It's not your fault. Hey, sweetie. How was your day? I'm scared. Oof. I don't... Mm, I don't like that. When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. No, I, I know why. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love, May. Don't come in the room. Um, I feel like for now, it's probably... <laughs> there's a trigger warning in the beginning, but I think now especially, it's probably a trigger warning. Um, so I'm going to open the door. The door felt heavier than usual. As I opened the door, I 
I saw the body hanging, the smell, the sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene myself, her, the police that eventually came, a disembodied feeling, and heard myself scream endlessly. I, I would like to leave. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her and then I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still there. I, it was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being the, there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit, this time without the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead. We were putting her in the ground. No one saw a cunning cry out. Was there a miss was a message I missed? So let's try playing that again. Okay, so that was obviously the bad ending, and I think I fucked up. Um, so we're gonna try again and hopefully um we'll be able to actually kind of like talk to our roommate. Okay, let's try one more time. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail, as if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice lost in the blizzard. Don't go. Please don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd missed my chance. I wake up in cold sweat, fearful, but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that. I should start working. But let's go back to work. I make a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and went to want to take a break. I spend 30 minutes trying to understand, but ultimately ending up confused. Why am I a fool, a hooligan, an oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? That's kind of, that's weird. I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Too lazy. Why don't you? Her mother's fast, lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation, then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. Um, I guess we'll wait until we have a better chance to. No. I need to be here for May when, she, when she's done getting berated by her mother. I attempt to focus back on my work and succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus again. 
I guess maybe the mom's done because I don't hear anything. The door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Let's knock. I hesitated, then knock. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Yeah, because last time we saw a fucking dead body. Hello? Yes. Um. Shit, what should I say? Let's hang out. You know, want to hang out in my room? And do what? I don't know. Talk. But I have work to do. Take a break. It's fine. Sometimes you deserve to take a break. You also have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Oh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you, too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. When, we, when she came back, we laid on my bed, looking out at the setting sun. Let's talk about life. What are you up to these days? I feel like we haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot. Also, not much. A lot? Ah, sorry, I haven't stayed updated. Haha, <laughs> stayed updated like I'm your favorite TV show. Don't worry about it. I just feel like I don't make enough time for you. Aw, that's okay. You're not obligated to. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Haha, <laughs> I forgot. You remembered? Of course I did. Happy birthday to you. She's happy saying me happy birthday. birthday. Aw, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. That's the mood. I remember being really excited for my birthday every year, but now I'm just like, I guess I'll go out to eat with my friends, and that's going to be the most of it. Maybe I can guilt one of my parents to getting me something. Stay outside. This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. Ha ha ha. Really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. It's a satisfying sort of monotony. A day where I stay inside, windows open, with tea and book is the good shit. Oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, go to sleep. Then do it all over again. What things do you enjoy? It's cliche, but... Why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I loved doing, I'll be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. I'll help you. I'll, we'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I had a horrifying nightmare that you killed yourself. And that's the last thing I want to happen to you. Because I'm worried about you. And I care about you. That's a better way to say that. I want you to feel better. Let's let some time pass. We talked more about everything and nothing, from TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go. I have work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang. Yeah, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. Yawn. Wow, time flies by fast. I kind of need to use the bathroom. Must be all that tea. Uh, door to the outside world. I think this is where the bathroom is. Yes, yes, sir. I opened the door to my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Hey, are you okay, buddy? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I need to go. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. 
I wanted to say something yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Um, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone, especially you. You're so kind. I meet soothing motions on her back. I don't know. It feels weird to just ask someone, like, why are you sad? I once went to a therapist who, and their initial question was just, um, what's your trauma? And I'm like, I don't know. That's why I'm going to you. Damn. I guess I'll just wait. Thanks for being here. Of course. I know this doesn't look good. I need it to punish myself. I don't deserve your kindness. I really don't. Hey, yes you do. You're a good person. Of course you deserve kindness. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I'd even consider her best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May, thank you. Me, what for? I, uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I don't tell you before because I was sad, but I appreciate you really. Ah, uh, anytime. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no you. No you, no reversal. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard, the snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came, my voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages, you grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. There's something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. So those are the two main endings for Miss Messages. I do think there's one more that we I will be showing soon after this. Uh, I'll be cutting to, because apparently you kind of have to do what we just did again, but there's like a diverting path to get to the third ending. Um, but I would say as a visual novel, it's not my favorite one that I've ever played but like I said I'm pretty sure this is just like free on steam and it is pretty short and but I do think it utilized the short time appropriately to kind of handle the serious message message that it's talking about just kind of like you can't you can't just tell someone how to be happy you can't be held responsible for them but you can try to be there for them and that's like the most you could do and I don't know I think that's an important lesson to know as someone who does have like really bad depression it's just nice to know that there's someone who will listen to me rant about bullshit half the time but just I don't know be there for me not just say oh why are you sad be happy um yeah I guess we'll just cut to the final part so I lied there is actually two more endings so um I'll be doing one of them first this is the this goes off of the bad ending so we'll be doing that first and then we'll be going off of the good ending.
This time, we're not going to be opening the door. It's happening again. We're just going to call the police. I called the police. I felt myself looking down on the scene, disembodied once again. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. I know it wasn't my fault, but I played back this moment anyways. I wonder if I'll ever be able to forgive myself. Would that be what May wanted? The end. Forgive. I keep replaying this moment. May would have forgiven me. Can I forgive myself? Okay, so I noticed that it kind of hints that there's like, e it's obviously not a time loop because that would be a little bit too whimsical and sci-fi for this kind of tone that they're setting, but maybe it's implying that she's kind of very much re reliving what's going on. Okay, let's do the final one, the final ending. Okay, okay, feel better. Shortly after that day, May moved out. I haven't heard from her since. Before she left, she read me a note. I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. text her hey want to catch up sometime I wonder we did she'll fly I wonder we did she's still alive the end survivor surviving one night at a time well that's the end of missed messages um Personally, if I was to give it like a ranking out of a book, I would probably give it, I'll probably give this like a 3.5 out of 5, which is a strong rating for me. Like for me, a 5 out of 5 is something that I absolutely adore. A 4 out of 5 is like something for really, really good, but maybe not my favorite. And 3 is just okay. It's just above just okay for me. I do kind of like the survivor ending, just kind of like implying that sometimes it is just about trying to survive one day at a time, which is kind of my mood right now. And like I said earlier, you can't really hold yourself responsible for, you can't blame yourself for other people. I 
that's why I like as well as the survivor ending I did like the um what was the other the forgive ending just kind of like you have to forgive yourself for like something that's not even really your fault like it wasn't the main character's fault what happened with me it was just she was unfortunately going through a really tragic time and I don't know May would have wanted her to forgive her that's like like the last wanted to not like the main character not to blame themselves and um that was really just kind of like the last message that she left the I do regret opening the door because that was really triggering I will have to put um a trigger warning there and also a trigger warning um when you walk into her cutting um let me know what you think of missed messages in the comments below or talk to me at Twitter and Instagram at Anne Owens. And if you're going through a hard time, talk to someone like talk, like even if you don't have anyone, because unfortunately there's a lot of people who are just kind of like struggling alone, uh, call a suicide prevention hotline. Those exist. I'll try to put in um, some resources in the uh, description below. That was way sadder than I thought this would be. Next time I'm going to do something a little bit more fun. <laughs> well, until next time, bye.